Let's start with modeling. I started out by extruding the default cube into a shape of a house. Remember to keep it simple. I mean, why would we want our janky PS1 graphics to look good? One thing to note is that it's important to have most of the polygons be quads, aka faces consisting of four edges. This makes subdivisions and loop cuts easier for you if you ever need them. At this point I started to break the symmetry of the model to make it more interesting. I made a lot of subdivisions on the walls of the house to kind of shape out the door and different parts of the wall. They might seem useless, but I'll use them in the texture mapping process to make it easier to map different kinds of textures to different parts of the wall. I also mark them with seams for the UV unwrapping process. Here's the finished model. Next up, I started to create the textures. You can find a lot of great free textures on sites like textures.com, opengameart, and texturelib.com. I decided to grab some wood textures, a door texture, and a window texture. Next up, you should bring up your photo editor. I use GIMP. It's a free photo editor, and who doesn't like free tools, so I can leave a link for you in the description. And most PS1 games actually used 128 by 128 textures, and that's what I'm gonna do, but I'll pack all my textures into one 256 by 256 texture to make the textures more authentic. You should, in addition to lowering the resolution, index the colors of the texture. And we're pretty much done with the texture for now. First thing I do in Blender is go into the UV mapping window, select all faces by pressing A, then unwrap my UVs by pressing U. Now we have this jumbled mess of shapes, and if you're unfamiliar with UV mapping, they're basically my model projected onto a 2D plane. I add a material onto my object, and switch to the shading tab. Here, I add an image texture by searching for it after pressing Shift A. I load up my texture and connect it to the base color. As you can see, the texture is kind of fucked up, so let's move back to the UV mapping window. On the right side we can select different faces on the model, and on the left side we can move them on top of our texture. Here's what I ended up with. You can also model these extremely simple trees by making the trunk out of a cylinder and the leaves out of two crossing planes. I added a texture for this tree using the same method I used for the cabin. We're pretty much done with the modeling side, so let's jump into our game engine. First thing you should do after importing your models is to change your texture sampling to nearest. I'm using Godot 4, but in Unity it's called point sampling. A staple in the modern PS1 style is fog. You can clearly see how much difference it makes. You can also change the resolution of the game to a much smaller one to get that authentic PS1 feel. And that's it. All the links mentioned can be found in the description down below. And if you like this video, you could uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more.